Good morning, True Family. Hey, everybody. Good morning, everybody. It's Miss True Redbone. If you didn't know, well, now you know. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Thank you for clicking on this video because guess what? You didn't have to, but it is appreciated. Thanks so much. Tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend. I'm not a secret. Share, share, share. Hey, everybody. I'm trying to get my life together. I have to do my makeup when I get to work. So, let's talk about a few things this morning. Um, first of all, let me reintroduce myself for all my new and true family members. Thank you guys for coming over here. Thanks again for clicking on this video. Make sure that you are subscribed and that notification bell is set to all. My numbers are being played with, but that's okay. We gonna keep grinding till the wheels fall off. Can't stop, won't stop. Think positive and positive things will mother freaking happen. <laughs> Y'all, I think I'm doing good with this with this no cussing thing. For real, for real. Um, let me reintroduce myself all, uh, again for the true family. You know, for the new the new people in in the family. We are growing. And that's so dope. Y'all, I tried to find a better spot today with some sun. It's beautiful in my neighborhood. I hope it's beautiful in yours. I think it's about it's supposed to get up to about 75 today. Right now, it's really sunny. I want to say it's about 60 degrees. Um, you know, I do my morning ramble on the way into work. Now, uh, before I reintroduce myself, let's give a shout out to the notification gang, gang, gang. <laughs> Y'all, I'm trying to get crunk in this piece. Um, so the first six true family members to click on yesterday's morning vlog and show some love to your girl, Miss True Redbone, um, was Mama Moya. Y'all, yesterday was Mama Moya's birthday. Happy belated birthday. Love you. Mwah, smooches. That's my sissy from another mother father. You know what I'm saying? Um, Jessica Smith, Jenna Lewis, Julie Pettijohn, Petty John. I think that's right, Julie. I'm sorry. Sure was. Welcome back, boo. Hope you're healing well. Um, and Cookie Thickness. I love that Cookie Thickness name, y'all. Every time I see her or that name, I'm just like, Cookie Thickness. Hey, Cookie. Good morning to you, beautiful ladies. Thanks for showing your love and support. Um, I really do appreciate it, y'all. My notifications is popping off on this phone. Yeah, I'm on my phone right now. I didn't even bring my camera this morning. Y'all know I haven't been using it unless I'm at home, so... It's what it is. You're going to get it. How we, we, I'm going to give it how I can, you know. Phone is still messed up, but that's okay. Um, so let me reintroduce my name, myself. My name is Miss True Redbone. My channel consists of many things. I am limited to nothing. Um, I do commentary and reaction videos. I also do... I, I, I lean towards now I'm finding my way, you guys. I am on a journey of life and I'm wanting to lean more towards inspirational um, videos for myself and for whoever's watching. I feel like there's a message to be given and if you need it that day, take it and run with it. Um, cooking videos. I do my cooking videos, you guys. And um, I talk about chronic pain because I am a sufferer of fibromyalgia and um, arthritis. I have rheumatoid arthritis, you, you guys. So sometimes I will be MIA um, if I'm having a chronic pain day. So, the, so I try to show support to um, my other true family members or whoever is watching who is also suffering with chronic pain because it's real. You guys, it is hard dealing with life as a mother, a wife, um, a working mom, entrepreneur, trying to get up and go function and you have chronic pain every single day. Um... I don't know if the true family knows, but I hurt every day, you guys. I ache every day. My energy is horrible 
almost every day and ever since Friday y'all my energy has been so bad and I feel guilty when my energy is so weak because I don't perform at my fullest potential and I feel like those around me suffer because I have no energy like last night you guys I was so exhausted and I just feel bad for my husband because really I wanted to be all over them bones but I was just like my my energy was like almost depleted like I'm so exhausted but anywho I got off track I do that sometimes <laughs> um I do shopping videos I'm trying to get into couponing so anybody want to help me in the world let me know uh I also do I'm a vlogger trying to be a vlogger and it's life you guys my channel is about life real life I'm a mom uh, I have uh five kids here in Texas and then I have my stepchildren in Milwaukee but they are not my stepbabies they are my babies I have them in Milwaukee I have a huge family so this is just life and you guys are along for the ride um this is positive peeps 30 so I'm trying to keep this whole month stay on a positive tip and it has been a challenge because you know the devil is real when you're trying to do something positive it, it's always something someone uh energy or something trying to bring you down and you got to be strong enough to push through and that's what i'm doing right now i'm trying to stay positive and trying to stick to my journey um and it is vlogtober day 22 y'all know a sister fell off but can't stop won't stop i'm back for it um i want to also give a special acknowledgement to the Texans who suffered um, from the tornadoes on Sunday. Um, it was y'all, it was literally blocks away from my home. Um, and I know I spoke on twin yesterday, uh, Latrice Black, you guys, she did email me back. She is, um, she was traumatized by the whole ordeal, but thank God her whole family is okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, she went, they stayed at a hotel one night and then they had to go back and clean the apartment. Windows broke out, doors flew off, you know, the whole thing. So again, um, twin, if you need anything, let me know. Mama Moya always also said to you, twin, if you need anything, reach out and let her know. Um, Nisi's world, you guys. Um, Nisi is in Texas also. Um, and I, you know, I got a text message from her yesterday. Nisi, I'm sorry. My phone went out again. Um, but she said they water was out and, um, electricity was out. So prayers, big prayers over to, uh, Nisi's world. Cause y'all know Klee Klee, um, I think he's on the machine. So I, I don't know. I'm sure she always has a plan B, but I pray to God everything is okay. So, yeah, that was about the tornado. So I just want to touch base on that. And, and um, let's go back to commentary reaction videos, you guys. Now, I have y'all know I do commentary reaction videos. And um, I have a lot of the true family members that say, hey, I don't watch the three moms. But and that's not the only thing I react to you guys. I, I react to news. It's whatever is going on in my head that day I will react no problem give my commentary like it or leave it you know what I'm saying um I try not to be uh judgmental I try not to be harsh um I feel like you can express yourself in a way where you don't have to be calling people all out their name or or be um malicious in what you say I think that is just like nobody learns that way nobody can accept criticism um that way because if you talking about Miss True and you cussing and you fussing you getting blocked the fuck out I'm sorry blocked out you know what I'm saying y'all know I'm working on my vocab I think it's getting better and better um y'all see the hair journey right y'all this stuff is thick I'm telling you I got carpet on my head my husband did a lining for me yesterday. I don't know if y'all can see it, but yeah, it's coming in thick and strong. So give me about, I want to say two or three more weeks and I'll get some braids off topic. I'm sorry. I need some chronic. So for the true family members that don't know what, what my chronic is, my chronic is coffee. <laughs> Commentary, you guys. Oh, and, and I try to bring you guys a 
positive affirmation every day of the week if I'm well. Okay, just look forward to that. Um, commentary reaction videos. I've seen them where they're harsh as hell. And the way that I learn, I don't learn from people cussing me out. I don't take advice from people putting me down. I just, I don't, I can't accept that. So um, I do not, I prefer not to dish out my commentary reaction videos that way. It's not fair. You know, it takes a lot of freaking courage. I got to say that um, too to um strong mommy chrissy uh lives life my jazzy life whoever's out there these mo young mothers out here single trying to find their way doing it alone hats off to you guys because uh that's that takes strength strength within itself so keep doing what you're doing learn along the way and improve um it takes courage to put your life out there, you guys. I choose what I put on my channel because you have to have a, a, a separation be, between YouTube and your life. You just do everything. It's not meant for the world to know. I don't know. When I was the way my mom and daddy raised me. Hey, mom and daddy. I love y'all. I miss y'all smooches. Um, cause my mom and daddy watches my channel. So that's another reason why I'm trying to check my mouth. Um, the, what we were taught growing up, because as a little girl, I probably read my mouth a little too much. My mama would say what goes on at home stays in the home. Um, I know that you, you are, you guys are channels where you're, you're living your life. I understand that. But keep your personal ish to yourself and you won't have to worry about people coming all harsh and all of that. But that doesn't make it right. They shouldn't be calling y'all out your name. Um, they shouldn't be judging. It's a lot of judgmental people out in this world. And it's not fair. It's not fair. These young women are trying to make it do what it do, trying to support their, uh, their families the best way they know how at this point. Um, overall, I would say fi um, for that you guys are doing a great job financially, get it how you live. Um, but it's, I don't think it's fair that we judge, that people judge so harshly. It's not. Um, the way that I do my commentary with these three young moms is, uh, I, I look at it in the aspect of how I would teach my daughters. What would I tell my daughters? Now we sugarcoat nothing at home. No, we give it we terminology, we sugarcoat nothing at home. Cause guess what? If I don't teach it to them at home, they gonna learn on the street anyway. So we are very harsh with how we explain situations, how we try to teach, you know, without being, without knocking them down. You know what I'm saying? But we are very, we don't sugarcoat shit. No, because don't nobody, the world is not going to sugarcoat anything for you. Um, so when I'm doing my reaction videos about these three women, I think about how I would tell my daughters, what, my, what would my reaction be to my daughters if I saw this, if they did this, if they do this, you know, and I react in that way without all the derogatory name calling, judgmental, you know emphasis on it a lot of people come over to my channel without actually watching the reaction video completely and judge me because i have their name in my title or i'm sending a message to them watch the video completely before you judge miss true redbone based off of another reaction video i think that's only fair um again it takes a lot of courage to do what you three moms do. So hats off to you for that. I've seen this morning just alone. 
I've seen a lot of mess on YouTube about these three moms. And I just want to say, everybody on YouTube don't know about these three young women. The world does not revolve around these three young women. I think there are other single moms on YouTube that's sharing their story that's probably very familiar in content with these three moms. I just think people need to step back in their and look at their delivery. Would you talk to your daughter this way? Is this the best way for you? Because y'all, y'all gotta think think in your head. We are all somebody in my comments said yesterday it was Angela Taylor. Hey Angela, your comment stuck out to me the most because I said yesterday in my morning video about the whole dirty feet situation in my jazzy life, and um I'm not judging whole dirty feet situation and how I kept house shoes. I did. And I do. I fuss every day to my kids about putting something on their feet. Um, she said, you are such a mom because I said the whole house shoe thing. And, um, you know, when, you know how the socks come up missing and you have one of these and one of that, make those house socks, put them on your feet. I don't care if you mess those up. You know what I'm saying? Because we can't find a matching sock anyway. So those are now socks that you wear around the house, footies. And that's because that's the way that I was raised. We are all, we were all raised differently. You got to think um, the way that we live our lives are a, uh, it's like a learned behavior from the way that we were raised. My mama was on it. My mama cooked every day. My mama made sure that we were clean. Hair was combed. Um, that we didn't want for anything. My mama and daddy, they are still together, thank God. Um, after, I think, 50 years almost. Um, we didn't want for anything. We were warm. They made sure we were fed. We went, you know, they did for us. We did fun things. And now, myself and my husband introduce that into our family because that's the way I was raised so I repeated the cycle because it was a learned behavior we don't know how these three women's three women were raised so they may be repeating a lesson learned you know what I'm saying so they're trying to find their way they're still young they'll look back at these videos later and be like I, I won't put that information out there again or I could have did this or I should have edited that out they're learning. I don't think we should be so harsh harsh in criticizing every little thing they do. If you guys haven't noticed, I haven't did as many reaction videos because I'm on a I'm still going to react. I'm still going to do my commentary, but my journey is a little bit different now. Let's do our positive affirmation, y'all. Courage is what I'm talking about today. It takes a lot of courage to put your life on YouTube. Even what I give y'all, y'all y'all just don't know how much courage that takes. You get a lot of people in the comments with no picture. You know, those uh, keyboard, the keyboard bullies. That's what I'm going to call them, keyboard bullies. They, they, they got a lot to say about a little bit of nothing. You know what I'm saying? Um... It just takes courage to put out what we put out there to put our face on YouTube for the world to see and for anybody to take this video and do what they want to do. That takes a lot of courage. And I I never want to in the future come back and look at my channel and be like, why would you do that? Why did you put that out there? That makes you, you know what I'm saying? I don't want that. I don't want that. I don't want my name to be associated with some bullshit. I don't. But you know what? There are so many judgmental people in the world that they will take something from this and criticize it. Just so you know, I'm, I'm, I'm cool with that. I, I, I can acknowledge that. Courage. Courage doesn't mean you don't get afraid. Courage means you don't let your fear stop you. I always say, do not get paralyzed in your fear, you guys. There are so many things that I wanted to do in life, and I, out of fear, became paralyzed. I can't lie, it still happens. But I'm, I'm acknowledging it, and I'm trying to work through that. 
Fear will paralyze the crap out of you. Fear will stop you dead in your tracks. Courage doesn't mean you don't get afraid. Courage means you don't let your fear stop you. Hats off to all those single moms out there handling their business. All those single dads out there handling those their business. More hats off to the ones that have enough courage to put their BS. BS. I said it out on YouTube. You know better, you do better. Maybe they can look back at their videos and say, hey, I'm not going to do that again. I see what the aftermath was of that. And I don't think it's fair to my children. I don't think it's fair to my significant other now that he has to go back and see this BS. We live, we learn. Every day, I feel like we should be doing something diff a little bit different than we did yesterday. I want to say thank you to everybody for coming over here and loving your girl. Make sure you like your girl, subscribe to your girl, comment for your girl. I'm going to catch up on my comments. <laughs> and stay encouraged, you guys. We got this. Can't stop, won't stop. Think positive. Positive things will mother, will mother freaking happen. We got this, y'all. You know better, you do better. All right, y'all. Y'all have an amazing day. I hope it's beautiful where you guys are. Like I said, it's a beautiful, sunshiny day here. Um, don't let the door hit you with a good Lord split. You miss True Red Bone out. Love y'all.